Hello guys, hope you are well. Today I am going to show you how to set up YOLO version 3 properly with CUDA and without CUDA on Windows 10. So let's get started. Please do subscribe on my channel and click on the notification icon to get latest video updates. In order to set up YOLO version 3, you need to install Visual Studio 2019 and CUDA and CODNN library on your PC. You can check my videos on that on my YouTube channel. The links are on the description below. So the first thing that you need to do is basically you need to go to the darknet repository by LXAB. So you can go there on the GitHub link and then you need to choose darknet. And here you will find all the details about how to set up YOLO version 3 on Windows and Linux as well. So as we are working on Windows, I will show how to set it up on Windows. So there are some requirements to set it up as well. So you need to have at least CUDA 10.0 for this LXAB uh, repo. And I already have set up uh, the CUDA and CUDNN. You can watch the my YouTube links that where i have uh, show how to set up cuda and cudnn the links are on the description below as well now in order to compile on windows what we can do we need to do basically we have to have opencv as well if we want to build it with opencv we need to download the opencv from the official opencv site so which is opencv.org and we also need to set up the environmental variables that will be associated with the OpenCV directory and it is shown in the images as well like how to set it up the uh, set uh, up the environment variables so here we are we are now on the OpenCV website and from here we need to download the release version of 4.2.0 so which is the latest version of OpenCV right now and we need to save it it will take some time to download the OpenCV so now it is downloaded so what we need to do is we need to open it and then we need to extract it on the C directory or you can define in any directory as well but we are doing it on C directory so and then we need to set it up the opencv uh, opencv underscore dir directory in the system variable so wh how we can do that we can go to our PC settings and then choose the uh, system settings and then from there we need to go to the environmental variables and in the meantime the extraction has been done so we can go to that opencv c dot c opencv folder and then just copy some the right so, so, so it should look like that the all the files the build folder and source folders is basically on the c opencv directory and like that like the way that has been showed in the uh, github repo so after it it has been done like the way it is shown on the github repo we can then copy that and then go to the environmental variables and then create the variable name opencv underscore dir so opencv directory and then paste the link like opencv c opencv and build so make sure you also do the same case you maintain the same case as well and click ok so so it, it is properly set up and now let's check now whether we have CUDA installed or not so you, you also need to make sure that you install CUDA and CUDA basically CUDA 10.1 before setting it up as well and you can also set up the CUDNN as well and for this what you need to do is basically you need to create another variable that is called cudnn setting up the variable name cudnn and then you need to uh, set the directory to the directory where you have actually set up the cudnn or the cuda and you can get it 
uh, on the C program file, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA 10. So in, in, in our case, we installed 10, uh, the 10.1 version of CUDA. So it should be on C program file, NVIDIA GP computing toolkit slash CUDA then 10.1. We just need to copy that copy that path and then create the variable name cudnn and paste that directory name and click ok so that's how we actually set up the environment variables and you can see the cudnn 64 underscore 7.dll is there so the cuda dnn is also cudnn is also installed in our pc and you can check my video, previous videos on how to set up cudnn and cuda on Windows so please check those as well the links are on the description below as well now you also need to make sure that OpenCV directory has been included on the system variables as well so what we need to do is basically we need to copy the uh, copy the OpenCV directory include OpenCV build. We need to go to like see OpenCV then include directory. You can see so we need to just copy that include directory and then uh, copy the path and then go to the system variables and add it to the path variables. So go to there and you can go there and then click new and then paste that directory that c opencv build and slash include and there is another library another path of the library is basically on the 64 x64 c opencv uh, build then x64 because this is a 64 bit version of windows so then copy the library v14 slash live and we just need to copy and paste that on the path variable as well so these two are important so you need to make sure you also uh, set it up in the system variables as well and after all of these things are done we need to download the original repo so we can go and just click on the clone or download then the zip file will be downloaded and then just copy it and paste it on the c directory and then you need to extract it and then you can see that that there are some visual studios solution folder and solution file on that you just need to uh, add uh, you just need to configure it properly so that it actually compile for CUDA 10.1 so in this repo they have shown it for CUDA 10.0 but as we have installed CUDA 10.1 we need to make sure that uh, this uh, the configuration file for the Visual Studio 2019 are is basically for CUDA 10.1 not for CUDA 10.1 okay so and for this what we need to do is basically we need to go to that darknet uh, master build and then darknet and here we just need to edit the file dot vcx project file so here we need to find the CUDA 10.0 because it has been compiled in the repo has been uh, done for CUDA 10.1 10.0 so we need to make it for 10.1 as we have CUDA 10.1 not the CUDA 10.0 so you can search CUDA 10.0 then you will find at two places basically so you need to change it to 10.0 to 10.1 okay and in order to get that which version of CUDA you you have installed you can uh, always check it using NVIDIA SMI after going to command prompt and then type uh, NVIDIA dash SMI and you can see that what is the version of CUDA on your PC and you can obviously get that version number and then you just need to replace the CUDA 10.0 with the number uh, 10.1 in case if you are using CUDA 10.2 you can just change it to CUDA 
in my case it is CUDA 10.1 so then after that you just need to launch the .sln file that is the Microsoft Visual Studio file solution file you just uh, launch it with, with Visual Studio 2019 and you also need to uh, install Visual Studio 2019 so you can check my previous video on how to install Visual Studio 2019 on my YouTube channel the links are on the description below as well and then the project will start and from here you need to choose the release and then win 64 so x64 because this is a 64 bit version of windows then you need to uh, run the solution and in case you are using uh, more than 10.0 so in case of because we are using 10.1 so you need to do another thing as well like you need to go to the properties the project properties and then you need to go to CUDA CC++ and then from here you need to go to the device option and you need to delete the compute 75 and SM75 option you just need to remove that option from that list so it will be like compute underscore 30 comma sm underscore 30 and then you need to press ok after that you can just click uh, right click and build solution and it will start building the solution for you So the build has been successfully done and uh, you can see it going to darknet and x64 and you can see darknet.exe file has been generated. So the build, was, the build is successful and in order to build it for no GPU you just need to build the solution like the same way you build it for the darknet.exe file and also choose the release and x64 and then right click on the solution and click and build and then it will take some time and it will also build the GPU, the CPU version basically not with the CUDA and you can see the build is successful so you can build the darknet with CUDA and without CUDA by this way and you can see the dot darknet.exe and darknet underscore no underscore gpu.exe so this these two executable files are basically for the darknet uh, darknet one so which can we which we will use to detect and running yolo version 3 and another thing that you need to do now is that you just need to copy the dot dll files so there are two files that you need to copy that is FFMP MPEG file and the OpenCV World 420 file and you just need to copy that to the darknet build folder because we have built OpenCV for we have built the darknet with OpenCV 4.2 so we need to copy and paste this OpenCV 4.2 version files and we also need to copy the cudnn64 underscore 7 dot dll file to the darknet build folder and we can get it from C program file NVIDIA GP computing toolkit CUDA then 10.1 then from there include uh, include not uh, so in the bin folder basically and then copy that DLL and then paste you just need to copy that and then you need to also go to the darknet build folder and then paste it and then you are done now in order to test the 
now yolo version 3 what we can do we can go to the uh, yolo darknet and darknet website that is uh, pg Redis website and from there we can download the weight files of the yolo version 3 and you can get the weight files from here you just need to click here and then copy or it, it will take some time to download the weight files and after it's done so just wait for wait for a few minutes and when it is done you just need to copy it and paste it to the darknet build folder then you are done so your version 3 weight files are done and just you just need to test it so you can test it you can just copy this file copy this line and then open cmd on the directory and then paste that line and also make sure you uh, rename the line with darknet.exe as we are building as we are running it for windows not in linux that common is for linux but as we are running on windows so it should be darknet.exe so you can see here it detected properly and it takes only 7, 27 milliseconds on the nvidia 2060 gta so nvidia rtx 2060 and you can see that it it has been built with cuda and cuda 10.1 and open 4.2 as well so it takes a so in your pc depending on your gpu it might take a longer time as well so if if you have a, another gpu that is like 10 1050 ti it might take around 55 millisecond running on that uh, and demo on this file the dog.jpg file now we will also test it on the G cpu that is no gpu so darknet underscore no underscore gpu.exe and then we will also run the same uh, demo and and you can see it take around 1.2 seconds so which is um, comparatively really slow compared to the gpu version which takes only 27 milliseconds so this is how you actually run or set up yolo version 3 on your pc on windows so that's that's all for for today see you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like our facebook page and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up hope this helps. thank you